Welcome to November, the Great American Month. Why is it the Great American Month? Election Day, Marine Corps birthday, Veterans Day, Thanksgiving, all uniquely American celebrations that we have. Today, we're going to talk about each one of them this month, but let's today, let's talk about Election Day, which is tomorrow. What do you know about the evolution of Election Day? And how did it get to be held on the first Tuesday after the first Monday? Yep, that's correct. The first Tuesday after the first Monday in November. How did we get there? Let's talk about it. I think you might be surprised at the influence of farmers, religion, and business. Back in 1845, Congress passed a law that Election Day would be held on one day, and it would be the first Tuesday after the first Monday. How did we get there? Go back to 1845. Well, 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 first, before 1845, what were elections like? They were run by each state. Each state ran it their own way, November through the first Wednesday in, de Wednesday in December, <clears throat> 34 days total. And what was happening is the election results were kept coming out and it affected turnout. People went vote because they saw the direction things were going. It had an influence. So Congress wanted it on one day. Now, when they came to make the decision, what were some of the drivers? The population at that time were primarily farmers. Farmers had to travel a long way to get to the polls. They needed a travel day. What did they do? <clears throat> Why couldn't they travel on Sundays? Because on Sunday, they're in church. Hence, Monday became a travel day. Also, Wednesday was a market day for farmers. Church Sunday, travel Monday. Vote Tuesday, travel back Wednesday market. That was part of the drivers. That's what put it on Tuesday. Why couldn't we have it on the first of the month? Because business. Business did their books at the time on Monday, and they didn't want to disrupt businesses. Therefore, they came to the first Tuesday after the first Monday. United States, we will always have election day between the 2nd and the 7th of November. Now, what else was it like before? In, we talked about before 1845, what it was like. States controlled it. They had it anytime they wanted. And a practice at that time was politicians would give treats to voters. What are treats? Alcohol. They would give them drinks. So, we'll go, so I, I envisioned at that time, prior to 1845, that election day, each state would have just one huge tailgate party. James Madison actually did not get elected in his first race that he ran in Virginia because he, he did not participate in giving treats. What else about Election Day is important? <clears throat> think, think about a few other things. What, what happened before, eight, or let's say after 1845? Did elections become fair then? Not necessarily. The electorate was primarily white male landowners. After the Civil War, 1870, 15th Amendment. Now, Slaves, former slaves were able to vote. So that changed the race part to that. Now, from there until 1865, there were still significant restrictions in voting. Women were unable to vote until the 1920s. And all from the time from 1870 to 1965, there were restrictions. You had to be a landowner, possibly, dependent upon the state. Literacy tests, poll taxes. Voting was restricted. Finally. 1965, Linda B. Johnson signed the, the Voters Act. And in the Voters Act, it moved, removed all those restrictions and with the enforcement capability from the federal government. That's when voting became much fairer. Now, what, other, what are some other things that are unique about our American way of voting? Think about computers and TV. We get inundated, we've been inundated for six months. When did they first come in? 1952, Dewey Truman. And it was an inauspicious start. The computers predicted the wrong winner and it was announced over national TV. Luckily, only about a third of the population had TVs. Now, that's 1952, 1960, 90% of the households have TVs. We had the first televised debate, Kennedy Nixon, huge impact. Look how things have changed since and, and the impact computers and TV have on our election today. I consider it a duty and an obligation to go out and vote and make sure my voice is heard. 
Go out tomorrow, make sure your voice is heard, and exercise your right to vote tomorrow. Have a great week.